ladies and gentlemen, RVB Shard here doing a rant for you guys. This time I'm going to be picking on this fucking retarded anti-streaming bill. Currently going through the US Senate. Ugh, I had to do some fucking reading on this shit because I did not believe anybody could be this retarded. But then again, looking at it, it had to be an American bill because you fuckers have a pretty bad track record of being dense. I should only have to mention George Bush elected twice. You guys, not good. All right. But, you know, saying that, I was hoping you guys had maybe turned to, you know, an intellectual corner considering you elected Obama, who happens to be a black gentleman, who happens to be rather intelligent, and happens to be, you know, fixing your fucking broken country. But, you know, never mind. My, f my lack of faith in America has been restored. Because currently going through your Senate right now is this retarded anti-streaming bill that is basically going to either completely turn... A good, like, s several million Americans into overnight criminals. Or, you know, completely buttfuck your economy so hard that you're, you know, you're basically going to be hitting the high notes for the rest of your natural existence. Uh, but, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be hearing, Sure, what the fuck you talk about? What's this bill? What's it all about? Well, let me put your minds at ease. Or terrify you. Depending on how stupid you are, your reaction will be indicated by the next few sentences. Anyway. This bill is the anti streaming bill, which basically is now going to make it illegal if it passes into law for anybody in the US to to stream video games, uh, any clips from movies, or even background music, or any co copyrighted material whatsoever. Because the public performance uh, law, which is currently in effect, which allows people to uh, use these. Uh, copyrighted items without profit blah 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 etc etc as is right now will be abolished so public performances will no longer be protected under the freedom of speech act which means all you guys are going to be absolutely punked up the anus for example if you post a video on youtube of yourself now this this is an actual legitimate uh scenario which could end up getting you jail time because this this new law they're posting through is coming with a, a mandatory five year jail sentence if you're convicted, which is fucking stupid. But anyway, example time, here we go. If you post a video of yourself dancing on YouTube with background music, guess what? You're breaking the law. If you post a Let's Play, you're breaking the law. If you post machinima of any sort without the express written consent of the game's publisher, you're breaking the law! Are we getting with the fucking program yet? No matter what you do, if you post a fan-made trailer for a movie using clips from the movie or music from the movie, you're breaking the fucking law! So are we on board with this yet? Are we understanding why a lot of people are pissed off? Are we, are we actually on the same fucking page yet or do I have to continue bitching? I mean, really. This makes no fucking sense to me. Anybody in the US it should be enraged by this, but I'm not seeing a lot of people actually protesting, which, which just doesn't really make sense to me. <laughs> I mean, for a country that's so big on the ideals of freedom, you're basically having the rug whipped out from beneath your feet and nobody seemed to give a shit. So I'm quite concerned. Because people, um, friends of mine and guys who do videos like this or other machinimators, I mean, guys like freaking Crimson Kane, the good griefing guys, they're going to get fucked over by this law if this goes through. People, even people like Quackjag and other machinimators and freaking like that. Anybody who posts videos on YouTube, let's plays, guides, walkthroughs, freaking even people just taking a video of a party they had with music playing in the background. People who are fucking playing their guitars or their pianos to a set piece of music that they enjoy that is copyrighted, that's you fucked. If you take a video of yourself whistling the Mario theme tune, you're breaking the fucking law according to this bill. That's how retarded this is. Now, on the economic standpoint that I mentioned earlier, companies such as Ustream, YouTube, Machinima.com, any company or any website that uses user-based uh, content, even Facebook is going to be fucking hit by this or any other social media site where you can post links or video footage or any of this shit 
if you post anything that's even remotely copyrighted or has any like I don't know you know what I mean right basically these companies are gonna get screwed because they're all US based and the reason they're US based is because US up until now was you know more freedom of speech orientated and they were protected under the law so they could do these things and they could make you know revenue for the US Treasury and all that sort of shit and then you know you know people would would go on here and, and do this thing but you know what happens as soon as this fucking if this bill passes and becomes law these companies are going to fuck off they're going to leave they're going to move their servers to other countries that aren't quite so mind-bogglingly fucking stupid and you know give money to other countries instead of the US so you know you're basically gonna get ramroded by your own economic butt plug so you know hope that one sits well with you Republican bitches and of course it ha this bill has to be put through by Republicans because you know it's got the stench of neo-nazism all over it I'm not saying Republicans are Nazis but you guys are seeming seeming more like Nazis I, like I'm expecting one day to see a freaking live broadcast from the US Senate where a guy just stands up and says for the Fuhrer because th this bullshit is getting insane it really is um, the other point I was going to make was from a personal standpoint because <clears throat> because I live in Scotland this bill really won't affect me so much but like I said, will affect other machine animators that I know and are friends with and stuff like that, and uh, people who do who other, make other videos and other shit on YouTube. And from a personal standpoint, I don't agree with a lot of this crap. And I have to share I have to share the view uh, with Notch. Now, most of you know who Notch is, the guy who made up Minecraft. The guy's awesome. He made a good game, and I have to hand it to him. It was original, and it was, it's caught on like wildfire. But the guy came out and said uh, on several different blogs and shit that he actually contributes a lot of Minecraft's success to YouTube, to the YouTube community, to people who filmed gameplay from his game and posted it up because he considered it free advertising, which is what I think most machinima is, really. So that's why I've always thought it's kind of rude and kind of pointless for video game companies to bitch that people are taking uh, shit from their game and posting it online because they're getting free advertising. People like me and other animators and guys who, who do this shit are really just, because we're using the, the game as a medium for our ideas and our interpretations and shit like that, they're still getting free fucking uh, advertising for their game. People are still knowing what the game is. They're seeing it. It's piquing their interest. Maybe they weren't interested before. A lot of people don't watch TV anymore. So they spend most of their time just watching shit on the internet. And if you're using um, games and shit and people are seeing this, they're going, oh, well, that game looks interesting. Look what that guy has done with that game. He's, he's made his Spartan talk. That looks interesting. I might download that game or go buy that game or do this or, or that or whatever. So I have to agree with Notch. It's basically free advertising so I don't know why people are fucking complaining I really don't because they're also reaching a much bigger audience than they would in their own country because let's say TV adverts cost a bomb and they only reach a specific number of people who are watching that show at a specific time whereas if you post shit on the internet it's always there so I don't fucking comprehend why people are being this fucking retarded about the whole streaming concept and also, it, if this bill goes through, it will damage certain companies. Even if they have the official copyright licenses, places like Netflix and Steam and anybody that uses like gameplay trailers on their websites and shit are going to suffer from this. So, it's dumb. But, on another personal note, as far as I'm fucking concerned, if I pay money for a product, that's my product. I can do what the fuck I want with it. I could take the game out of the case and use it as a fucking frisbee for all I care. That is my game. I have paid money for it. I own it. It's mine. Now, I'm not saying I've created the game and I can, you know, take credit for creation because I can't. It's obvious. You guys have got a copyright stamp on the fucking game case. It's your product. It's your material. That's fine. But with that material, because it's in the public domain and because I've purchased it and I have the right to do it with it as I please, I can make a video using it. I can show people what I've done in the game. Nobody's going to believe that because I posted the video up that I created the fucking game. Nobody's that stupid. <coughs> Sorry. 
drop my foot. Haha. <laughs> Nobody's that stupid, all right? So let's let's just put it down to this. If I purchase something, it's mine. I could understand people being pissed off if I didn't pay for the fucking game, all right? And posting videos of it because then I've not paid for it and I've not actually given the creator their dues for creating the game. That's fine. I get that. But for games that I've fucking bought on the Xbox, for games that I've bought on the PC, I have every right to fucking show them if I want. Because I've paid my dues. I have paid to use this content. So you can fucking blow me. For an example, if, like, you go out and buy a designer pair of trainers, or sneakers if you're American, right? Then you're walking down the street, and then the creator of said sneakers walks up to you and goes, Oh, I see you're wearing a pair of my sneakers. I want them back. What would you say? Me personally, I'd tell them to go fucking chew on my gargantuan nutsack, but that's me. But I'm pretty sure most of you would say no and walk on because they're your fucking shoes. Fuck off. If you're going to create a game and then make people pay to use it and throw it out of the fucking public domain, then you have to deal with the fact that people will take footage from it and will post it. You should just look at it as you're getting free advertising, you're reaching a much bigger audience, and people are getting more into your games than before. Because if you take a fucking landscape look at the way games have evolved in comparison to social sites and community upload sites such as YouTube and Ustream, you'll find that the correlation between these two is that video game sales have increased, not decreased, you dumb cock-smoking buttholes. So, in conclusion, if you are living in the US and you do not agree with this anti-streaming bill, write your local senator and tell him to go fuck himself in the ass with a razor wire wrapped broomstick. Probably, in your language, less expletives. Probably just say, eh, excuse me, this bill is a bad idea, it's going to hurt our economy, it's going to uh, damage certain personal liberties, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, yawn, and then send it away to him. Myself, personally, if this, if I was living in the U.S. and this shit was going on, I would write, go fist yourself in my own feces and send it to him. Because, personally, I cannot be bothered with fucking retarded cock smokers who are trying to control the internet. Because, here's a newsflash, the internet doesn't get controlled. You know why? Because it's created by every user who uses it. Every website is user-generated content. So you can go fuck yourself if you think you can start telling people what they can and cannot do online. It is the last, because online is the last bastion of true freedom. Where people can say and do what they fucking please. Granted, I may not agree with some people online, but I will freaking defend their right to be as much of a dickhole as they like. Because that gives me the right to be as equal a dickhole back to them. So, oppose Bell. S978 if you have any fucking brain cells that you can rub together to create some form of friction RVB shard out